parties and has had to be cancelled due to the pandemic, of course, financially a huge blow. But in Coventry, they found a way to keep the panto going ahead after all. And you don't even need to leave your house to see it. Kevin Rees has been finding out more. Puss in Boots at the Belgrade Theatre in Coventry last Christmas, but this year it's going to be very different. And that's because for the first time in decades there won't be a Christmas panto here. Instead, it's going to be streamed from a TV studio 40 miles away. On the eighth day of lockdown, my true love gives you me. The studio is near Banbury and a much smaller cast is already rehearsing a specially written Covid topical version of Jack and the Beanstalk. Where are the toilet rolls? Uh, none in the shops whatsoever. We are doing the full story of Jack and the Beanstalk based on, uh, you know, with lots of lockdown jokes and everything like that. And we're still doing all our usual uh, comedy routines, you know, traditional panto routines and our songs and our, our, our dances and, uh, and jokes and everything. It's behind you! The cast are all being kept in a Covid bubble and staying in the same accommodation throughout rehearsals and performances. Hooray! Having no audience is, it is odd. Yeah, it's just a different way of doing it. And like you're saying, you're so used to, like, the, the Belgrade and the Coventry audience is like a big family because people go back time and time mm. again to see you guys and, you know, people like me sort of dip in and out different years. And you always feel like you're sort of coming back to a really lovely, warm audience. Yeah. So this is a d different way of looking at it. Cameras will capture the action and new sets are being created. It's all providing much-needed work in a decimated industry. From a live point of view, it's a very worrying time. However, you can either cry about the past or get on with it and take each day at a time. You have to use your traditional skills of the creative process and yet embrace the technology to keep it going. But we have to embrace now and get on with it. The streaming comes at a price though, it's £16 to watch, or there's a screening inside the Belgrade. Details of that on their website. Kevin Reed, BBC Midlands Today, Coventry. And the pantomime continues in the studio, because Ian Winter.